Hi, Dan, my dear friend. I'm so thrilled for you today. To the students, faculty, and administration at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, you could not have done better than award this honorary degree to this extraordinary man. In 1971, there was a lot happening in our country. So many people, including myself, were in the streets demanding, make love, not war. It's the stuff of t-shirts and posters and some pop culture today. But in 1971, it was life and death. We were fighting for the soul of our nation. I was in my early 20s, divorced and a single mom with two young children. I had my own advertising agency and among the crown jewels of my office, a rare technology wonder of the time, a Xerox 812 copier, just about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. One day I got a call from my good friend Dan who asked me to meet him for lunch to discuss something confidential. He wanted to know if he could use my Xerox machine to copy some top secret documents. We all know the purpose. Now people don't appreciate this. You hear Benicon papers and you think, what, maybe 100, 200 pages? We're talking about 7,000 pages of eyes only, top secret, confidential documents. Something you hear about in the news now every day. And copy away we did in secret into the nights. This document and what we would realize later was a historic moment. Dan started out as a supporter of the war and by the end he was seriously opposed, a brave hawk who became a heroic dove. He was indicted, I was an unindicted co-conspirator and two years later we were vindicated. Back then we inhabited a helter-skelter world but it was still a world where facts mattered, where integrity meant something to most people and where principled men and women would risk everything to stay true to one of our most essential attributes as human beings, our conscience. University students today will go out in the world and shape and lead what comes next. But no matter what path you choose, I can't imagine a better role model than Daniel Ellsberg. In 2018, I held a dinner party at my home in Los Angeles to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Dan was there. So were the four women he describes as the most important women in his Pentagon Papers journey. Jane Fonda, who he calls his inspiration. Barbara Streisand, who, when things were at their toughest, held a concert to raise money to keep the defense fight going. Me, his co-conspirator, and most importantly, his beautiful love, Patricia. Like we were then today, you are all in the presence of true greatness. I hope for the sake of our country and our world, it's contagious. University of Massachusetts Amherst, you've made a brilliant and timely selection in bestowing this much deserved honor. Dan, we all thank you and you know I love you and I will be your co-conspirator any day.